Hello everyone and welcome back to Sarion. And we are here with Chorus, our Dakota Raptor, who's currently in the swamp area that's actually by the beach. I believe the beach is just over that hill, but I'm not positive. Uh, so we want to be kind of careful in here. And I already see a crocodile over there. Uh, we've been basically running around and just killing a bunch of crocodiles here as uh, Chorus tries to defend his territory, because this is where he's set up for... Um, he, he's set up in the swamp here. And, uh, let's see. Are we able to grab this guy? Nope, that's not working, apparently. He is gonna scoot off that way. Can we get him? Can we get him? Oh, we got him. Wow, that seemed to work surprisingly well. I think some of the damage, um... Some of the damage hitboxes are still a work in progress, because do remember, this game is in early, uh, early access still. And, um... So there may be some bugs and glitches, there may be some imbalances. Things might not always work the way we think they should. Ooh, yeah, he did come after us that time. Uh, things might not always work exactly the way we think they should, but they are still working with that and working on fixing that. And uh, they will be making it better for the future. We've just got to give them time to work all those things out. And I know they are aware of a lot of the bugs and glitches that are in the game right now and uh, are working to fix them. So one of the newest additions is actually a little bird-like thing that we found the last time. I did check the changelog and they did update the changelog, they just hadn't put it up the first time I played the update. Uh, but after I played it the second time, they did talk about how they added a new type of prey here in the swamp, and it's these little bird thingies that we find from time to time. So let's see... Oh! I think they switched the, the toggle run button. Because, yeah, they did. It's Q now. It used to be caps lock. And now it is on, now it is on Q. <laughs> um, that is good to know. But when you're trotting, or that would be the toggle trot. Because uh, running is straight up sprinting with shift still. Um, but when you're trotting, you don't regain stamina as quickly. So unless you have um, a lot of stamina to begin with, you kind of want to be cautious of that. I do see a crocodile over there. And there is one of those bird guys right here. Nope, we missed him. Darn it. Um, oh, we gotta be closer to drink, I think. Did that? Yeah, that's bringing down our water, so we're still too close to the beach. The beach is over there. And uh, that makes this salt water. So we've got to be a little bit more cautious about that, because that actually drains our thirst if we drink from the salt water, because uh, that's what salt water does. It makes you more thirsty instead of satisfying you. So, we gotta be kind of cautious about that. Hopefully this water is better. No, this is still salt water. Alright. Hopefully over here it's not. This swamp is a little tricky for that reason. There we go. Because, uh, sometimes... Did he see something? I thought I saw his head tracking something. But perhaps not. Uh, but yeah. Uh, we do have to be kind of cautious about that. <laughs> And let us see. Um, oh, he sees something. Oh, it's this guy. We can probably take him out pretty easily. Oh, wow, that's... We've gotten better at taking these guys out. Are we older now? We're up to age nine. Maybe that's why. Maybe he's just getting a lot stronger. So, Chorus's parents were actually killed by... Um, crocodiles. I wonder if that means they were a lot younger because Chorus has so far proved to be a lot sturdier in fighting against the crocodiles than uh, they were. Perhaps he's just gotten more experienced with it. I don't know. Uh, but he's been doing pretty well when it comes to fighting them. This swamp has actually uh, served him really well. Is that? No, that's just the shadow of a leaf. I thought there was a bird thing and I was like, I want to get it. But no, apparently not. So we can trot through this water, hopefully. We don't want to get stuck in the water, because that's when the crocodile will come after us. But, um, we definitely want uh, to pro possibly explore some of the rest of the ecosystem, even though this swamp has been a very nice place for us so far. Um, it's always interesting to see what more there is to explore, and if we can find our way back to- oh, that was one of the bird things. I missed it. I didn't, didn't see it until the last second there. 
Uh, but it is possible to catch them. You could probably just have to sprint up to them before they have the chance to get away. And uh, they make a pretty meager snack for us as it is. Let's get a drink here. And uh, thankfully it is not salt water right here. But off this way is a more where we were before. And look at the, the mist in this woods here. It's pretty interesting, really. Uh, it's, it's quite an interesting place. The environments in this are very well done. I will definitely say that. Uh, they really put a lot of uh, effort into putting all this together and making it look good. And it does look quite beautiful. And look at the nighttime effects, you guys. The nighttime effects are so much better than they used to be. Um, it is still difficult to see. I think that it looks, it seems a lot better though. Um, or maybe it's just because we're out in the open, but I'm pretty sure. And they updated these guys to drop a scent trail more often too. So that we can, oh, do we get him? They supposedly drop a scent trail more often. Oh, he went this way. Get him? No, we didn't. He was over here last. But yeah, they updated him to drop a scent trail more frequently. Uh, in the past, they used to leave it a lot less frequently. Oh, I guess we ate him. Because we got a little bit of digestion from that, but not too much. But yeah, I think they have updated the nighttime graphics to be a little bit better. That or it's just because we're out in the open. But look at that. Look how beautiful he is in the moonlight here. Wow. Very, very pretty. <laughs> uh, I really like the looks of the Dakota Raptor. They kind of almost look like eagles. Um, is our digestion... Oh, I guess our digestion it just stays a tiny bit there, though. I don't know. We weren't really able to catch the lizard, I guess. I thought we got it, but maybe it just disappeared off somewhere. In any case, they're not really worth the effort because they don't give you that much food to begin with. So we're going to keep heading this way, I think, and hopefully find a source of water sometime in the near future, because otherwise we could be in for a spot of trouble. But usually the way we find water is just by following the beach until we find a river. And what is that moving up there? There's something up here, but I think it's just like a packy or something. Yeah, it's just a packy. These guys are not usually that difficult to take out. If we can use our raptor prey restraint on him. Which I don't know if we can. Oh, that is... That is a triceratops. Let's not. How about we don't? Do we get the packy, though? I think we got the packy. Let's turn off our trot mode. Did we get him? I think we got him. I don't know if we got him or not. He seems to be avoiding us, which is good. Um, he's not coming after us. Did we get him? I think we got him. Yes. He doesn't seem to want to pick a fight. Well, maybe he does. Is he wanting to pick a fight? Did we get him? It sounds like we're getting him. We want to stay away from that head, though. The head is the scary part. Let's see. Oh, do we get him? We got him. Nice. I feel like Chorus is pretty territorial towards other, um, other larger creatures. Possibly not the Triceratops that we saw back there, but towards other creatures near his own, near his own size, especially uh, carnivores, but also um, potentially aggressive herbivores. Drop some meat on the ground too. You're kind of a messy eater, Chorus. <laughs> um. But even uh, potentially the somewhat larger herbivores that could uh, seem to be a little territorial. What is he? Oh, it's one of these guys. I feel like he would be especially aggressive towards other carnivores, though. Um, even little raptors. That's probably kind of an instinctual thing for them. Because those other little raptors will attack their offspring. Although I, apparently Dakota raptors aren't... According to the... In this game, at least, Dakota raptors aren't very good parents because the uh, adults will attack the babies at a certain point. Although I suppose that can be kind of normal in the animal kingdom because once they grow up to a certain point, they're supposed to be out fending for themselves and they become a competitor to the adults, especially in a not as large of 
not so much pack animals. So like more solitary creatures like um, some of the feline species tend to be more solitary and such. Canine species are usually more social and a lot of the time the pack will stay together for a while. Um, but we don't really know that much about these guys, I think. And I believe in this game they're considered to be a little more solitary. And they are considered ambush predators, which basically means that they hide and wait and then when their prey gets close enough, they jump out and attack. So here's the beach. Down there is the swamp. Our water's doing all right for the time being. Night still is a little bit freaky because it's hard to see other dinosaurs. And the last thing we want would be a Rex lunging out of the bushes at us. So we do have to be on pretty high alert. Hopefully at some point they'll... Uh, Maybe even implement a night vision sort of thing or something. There's like a Packy up there again. Possibly we'll go after him. Yes, that is a Packy. Oh, did he get us? No, he didn't. Okay. Here we go. He's on the move, though. He's definitely on the move. Oh, whoa. Did he get us? We got him. Okay. I was a little concerned that he got us, but no. Uh, we seem to be all right. There we go. Nice little snack. And uh, we will uh, keep our food up by constantly hunting. We probably don't need to be hunting this frequently, but like I said, probably a lot of that is due to territorialness rather than an actual need for food. And then, of course, um, a lot of the time wild animals will eat what they can when they can because they're not, they, there's no guarantee the next meal will be anytime soon. Is this a river or is this the beach? I think this is a river. Yeah, this is a river. There's there's another side to it. Possibly part of the swamp even. Oh, our stamina's down. Hopefully it's far enough from the beach that we don't run into problems, though, with the water, I mean. Uh, let's get a good drink here if we can. Maybe have to get a little closer. Yeah, this is good water. So if we follow this river this way, ooh, porous, don't jump all the way in, there might be crocodiles. <laughs> um, uh oh, what's that sound? Oh, there's, that's a triceratops right there. Apparently when we get to maximum age, which is like 14 or something, I think that's maximum age, we can, we might actually be able to take those guys down. Oop. There we go, did we get him? No. No. Oh, now he's in the water. So I don't think we got a whole lot of that. Oop. There we go. I don't think we were able to get a whole lot of that food out. There we go. But uh, we got some at least. And we'll head this way. That's the beach down there. One thing that we do want to try at some point is possibly swimming out to sea because you guys have said there's a very rare chance that we might encounter a Mosasaurus. I believe it is. Um, oh, maybe that's not the beach. No, that's not the beach. Let's uh, actually toggle into our trot mode. Because then our stamina will still come back. But we're holy moly! This is why I don't like nighttime. I think that set us back quite far, too, which is a little bit aggravating. Uh, but, um, well, that happened. Dang it, we lost a lot of progress, too, didn't we? Yeah, we're back down to age nine. Ah, uh, that's just a little bit frustrating about dying in this game. Okay, no, that's towards the beach. This is to away from the beach. We're going to keep heading that way. And hopefully make a little bit more straight progress before night falls, because nighttime is scary. <laughs> um, 
I wish they would make more noise, because I'm pretty sure that Rex did not make much noise at all. He was kind of just suddenly there. And I don't think T-Rexes are supposed to be ambush predators. I think they're more... They crash their way in and just attack whatever they can, whatever they find. Um... They don't have as much of the stealth aspect, and that guy was stealthy. At least that's what I would I would guess. They tend to be larger and more focused on brute strength. I mean, like, he freaking one-shotted us. Um, ah, it's lagging a little. Is this? Okay, that is good water. So that's good. That means we're getting further away from the beach. Oh, that's a crocodile. We're going to take him out. There we go. Yeah, Chorus definitely is getting stronger, uh, despite all the times we keep dying and getting set back. Um, he definitely is getting stronger. But, uh, strength can only do so, so much. I think he's getting better at attacking. Wait, is this towards the beach? I don't think this is towards the beach. He's getting better at attacking, but he's still pretty weak, um, when it comes to taking attacks. Um... <laughs> Oh, man. I'm not gonna lie. That gave me a bit of a scare. Uh, that, that definitely gave me a bit of a startle. I did not expect that. I saw it the last second, and I don't know if you guys kind of heard me slam my keyboard searching for the run toggle <laughs> to, to sprint out of there, but I did not get it in time, unfortunately. <laughs> um, whoops. <laughs> uh, but good thing we don't have permadeath on, because holy cow... Another reason that I don't want to turn permadeath on in this game right now is that it's a little bit easier to die than it is in a lot of the other games we play. So, like, with, um, with Wolf Quest, there's not many predators that will actively target you. Um, most of the chance you have of dying is if you pick fights. And, um, m most of the goal of Wolf Quest is to raise your puppies, and not just to survive yourself. And so, given that that can be a very generational thing, and yes, I'm aware of what's over by those trees, <laughs> um, given that it tends to be more focused on the generations, it doesn't make as much sense to have it, um, like, the permadeath makes more sense there. Permadeath in this makes a little bit less sense, given that it's still kind of unbalanced, and the goal is more focused on you growing up. If every time you die you have to start over, that gets a little bit frustrating. If you just get set back a bit, that's less frustrating. Whereas in Wolf Quest, when you die, you we move on, for our series at least, straight to the next generation. And so it's not like you have to completely reset your progress, you just start with a new wolf and the story continues on. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. That's why I'm, uh, that's a big reason why I'm opting not to do a permadeath in this series just yet. Now, if this game ends up becoming more like Wolf Quest, where eventually your goal is to find a mate and um, have babies and at least raise them to however much the Dakota Raptors uh, raise their babies, then um, that is a little bit, uh, that's a little bit of a different matter. And that'll be a little bit of a different uh, situation once we get there. But for right now, the main goal of this game is for you to survive and grow to adulthood. And so setting back to the very beginning, every time you die, we're going to be here forever if we do that. <laughs> um, so it's it's uh, some different mechanics that come into play. And it is going to get dark again. And we know we have to watch for Rexes by the stream bed. I'm just wondering how we managed to not see that guy because... He came up so suddenly, and they're so big. Where was he hiding? And we are getting a little bit laggy here. But, like, he came out of nowhere. How did how did something that big manage to do that? Did we get him? We are taking these guys out pretty easily, as long as we don't get in front of them now. So that's a good thing. Uh, not really wanting for food, at least. Um... But when it comes to survival, we're definitely not the apex predator here. Um, we're fast and we're stealthy, but we're not the top of the food chain by no stretch of the imagination. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to head towards the beach, I think. 
And maybe this time we'll sleep through the night, because the night is pretty, but the night is also scary as heck. And, uh, yeah, the night is not a good situation. <laughs> um, we want to be a lot more cautious. And I think we're going to go ahead and we'll probably sleep here. Um, probably leave off here for the episode as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.